so the other thing we need to talk about is the fifth wheel i know we talked about it hooking up but just like we move the tandems uh we talked about moving the tandems you also can move the fifth wheel you see those in there you can move them to different holes in there so the way to do that again is just like we we talked about the tandem that you pull out the handle for you to be able to push these pins inside you are going to use a button i'm going to show it to you uh, in front but this will go in and then you can be able to pull uh, to change the location of the fifth wheel along here and that comes in handy if maybe you are heavy on the drives and you need to adjust your weight if you need to get more information about adjusting your weight i made another video about adjusting your weight you can check it out if i remember i will put a link to it in the description below or anywhere on the screen uh, just in case you need to know how to adjust your weights i did make a video on that okay so right here this is uh in, in my vehicle again uh different vehicles may be different uh some trucks may uh it may be like a button you have to press like maybe like you see one of these buttons uh but for this particular um truck my fifth wheel says right there and on your truck it should say like fifth wheel lock and unlock so anytime you want to unlock those pins i showed you you just have to come here and switch this to the unlock position or if it's a button just press it so it can unlock and then you are going to do the same thing like we did with sliding the uh the tandems you are going to use this to help you move again when this is pushed in that means the truck can move but the trailer is not moving because this is out and so when you unlock it you uh you put it wherever you want it to be and then when you're done you just lock it up and that will help you move your fifth wheel and since we are here let's talk about this button right here this says suspension air auto this is for lowering either you, you want to lower your suspension air or you want to put it up and what this button does is to take out air in uh, from your airbags right there and what that is gonna do is it's gonna lower this fifth wheel is gonna go down this no no not just the fifth wheel this i don't know what i would call it let me just call it the frame it's gonna lower down it's gonna go down so that there is kind of a space between the fifth wheel and the trailer now that comes in handy if you are maybe like you get somewhere and you find that uh the driver before you did not uh, uh put the landing gear really up and so your trailer is so low that when you try to get under it when you are hooking up to the trailer you realize that it's so low so the first thing you need to do is to lower your um uh, your suspension like so that this thing comes down when it comes down you will then be able to slide under the trailer so that you can go underneath it also the other way you to use it is every time you finish like uh, delivering a load and maybe you are unhooking from a trailer and you put the landing gear down then you want to lower that uh, air suspension so that you get out smoothly without cranking the uh, the landing gear all the way high because you don't want to, it to be so high that uh, the other driver when the next driver comes to get the trailer uh, he or she is having problems so we use that to uh, to help us get in and out of the trailer smoothly so anytime you get to a trailer and you can't get underneath it that means that um, if it's if it's so low if the trailer is low and you can't get underneath it then lower your suspension um, your, your suspension so that you can be able to go underneath it also there are some customers you may get to and uh, the dog even even after you slide your tandems all the way to the back some of the dogs can be tricky where you need to you, you still like your your trailer is still so low that it, it still needs to go up even after you've mo you've taken the wheels all the way to the back and one of the ways to help with that is if again 
when you are still hooked to the trailer, don't get a, a, away from it. Just, uh, just take out the air from your airbags. What that is going to do is it's going to lower this side of the trailer and kind of raise the, uh, the back side of the trailer. So when you ever get to those kind of docks where, you know, like you slide the tandem all the way back, but yet you're, uh, still, they still need your trailer to go up, try to take all the air out of your airbags so that that part of that this part of the trailer will go down the other part of the trailer will go up that will also help uh, just always remember to put it back up when you're done loading loading or unloading so that you don't drive with those uh with without the air in your airbags so we've talked about this button right here which is for uh, for the fifth wheel moving the fifth wheel we've talked about this button right here which is to lower your uh, your suspension and then we talk about this one this one is going to come in handy where you are sometimes you may go at customer places or you may find yourself parked at a place that is kind of rocky and some of those rocky places uh, when you try to move they can cause um, like your tires may not have enough uh, friction and they may start speeding or you may be in a place where you have some potholes um, where you, if your tires are not on a good flat surface sometimes they may start to uh, to spin so what you want to do is to engage that to lock it and what that is going to do is kind of going to lock the the, the drive tires so that uh, they don't spin a little bit so that it helps you get out of that situation um so whenever you are in a place where it's kind of rock um not rocky yeah where, where it's kind of rocky like it, it it usually happens at places where you know like the soil there is no pavement and it's kind of rocky or there are some uh, potholes like the area is not even it's not flat when you start to feel like your tires are kind of spinning lock uh, put that in the lock position and try to get out of that situation of that spinning situation so that you can be able to move out it, it kind of locks the uh the the drive tires to help you get out of that situation and then when you're out of it just unlock it again so that they can start moving again having said that be very very careful whenever you get into places where you have rocks a lot of rocks or a lot of potholes because sometimes you will get in a situation where it's almost impossible you just have to uh, to, uh, to get like one of those tow trucks to come and pull you out uh, anytime you are in a situation where your truck is not balancing like some of the wheels are spinning be very very careful uh, because when there are times where when even that uh, you know like uh, that button won't help you if you get in a place where like you are in a pothole and your drives are spinning or you are in a rocky place where your drives are spinning really fast like there are some situations where you can't get out only a tow truck can get you out so always be very careful when you are in rocky places or when you are in uh, places with potholes and places that are kind of um, I don't know what I should say very uneven be very careful parking in those places okay so the other place I want to warn you about when you are parking is avoid um, not avoid but be very careful when it comes to uh, shoulders like when you are maybe like on the freeway and then something happens maybe you have a tire failure right and you need to uh, maybe pull off and get on the side be very careful most of the time try and avoid taking your uh, your tires off of the pavement uh, try and find a place where you think or where you know you can fully have all your tires on the pavement without going off onto the shoulder because some places uh, the shoulders are soft and people don't realize but these trucks right here are heavy 
So when you drive off and you try to get on the shoulder, if that shoulder is soft, your, your trailer may end up just kind of sinking into the shoulder. And if that happens, again, uh, depending of how bad you've, uh, you, 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 you've, you are off of the pavement, you may need a tow truck to, uh, to get you off. So as much as possible, be very careful uh, not to let your tires go off of the pavement. Uh, find a place where you are sure that you can keep all your tires on the pavement. Avoid going off of the pavement so that you don't get in a situation where, uh, you know, like you are stuck and you need a tow truck to get you off. Sometimes if it's really, really worse, you may even end up, uh, you know, like overturning the, your truck. I've seen that happen where people got off uh, thinking they are getting off uh, uh, to park. And then the next thing they know is their, uh, their truck is, you know, like rolling over just because they did not uh, mind to keep that truck on the pavement. So be very careful about that. That is something you want to watch out uh, for. They have started unloading me and since they are unloading me I want to see if I can find a ladder because remember I'm not gonna I'm gonna get out of this place empty so I need a ladder so that I don't have those placards on because uh, if you drive with those placards on that means you will get into you you could get a, a ticket because that's illegal Man, look at those trucks. They carry hazmat, but they look so strong. Huh? The way they are built, they look like tough. Look at this one. Hazmat, hazmat, hazmat. All those are supposed to be like placards. Dang. But they look really, really strong. Huh? There it is. I got it. This is gonna help me if you ever get into this. Look, it's not moving. So, what do I need to make it move? Step here. That means I've carried this off the ground. These are supposed to be like the, uh, the legs. Now it's on the wheels. Magic. Now that I'm here, I want to take it off the wheels, back onto the steps and onto the legs. Just press here. There I go. I'm ready to go. That side is done. I'm gonna get up these stairs. Do this side. I'm gonna leave this ladder right here. When that light turns green, it will mean they are done. I'll pull out, my paperwork will be in the back and then I will do this side and the back of the trailer. So I set up my truck this way just to show you something else uh, again to do with the uh, cords. Now think about it, I'm not making a U-turn but I've set it up as if I was gonna make a U-turn. Sometimes when you are making a U-turn, you see what happens to the cords? So sometimes depending on how these cords are, when you're making a U-turn they may come out a uh, one of them may come out uh, and so maybe like if the red one came out your truck will stop moving if the blue one came out as we said you will be able to move you'll be able to break but you won't be as efficient if the electrical one comes out then your lights of course will not be working because look at that you see how it is because it's stretched so it could almost come out and so you could drive with this out and your lights not working and wondering what happened or sometimes they could uh, it could even come out from this side so anytime your lights are not working and you remember you made a u-turn come check to make sure it's connected and come to make sure it's connected if say for example you are making a, a turn sometimes if this is too long it could even get up maybe like um, it it could get caught up in one of these areas because I remember it happened to me where uh, this was too long that it got caught up somewhere I don't remember exactly where and what happened by the time I finished making the U-turn 
I was, uh, uh, actually it wasn't uh, even a U-turn, I was setting up to back into a customer place, but uh, cable got somewhere, got caught somewhere, and my red airline broke. As soon as it broke, I couldn't move because there was no air, and I couldn't get it fixed, so I had to leave that trailer exactly where I was, so that uh, somebody can come and pack it for me. I had to go back to the terminal to have it fixed. So this is what happens when you're making U-turns. Uh, sometimes those cables will be stretched. They could break or they could come out. That is something to keep in mind too.